Harry's wife, Depp and Heard 2.0. Many of you watched the trial last year involving Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Indeed, some years prior to that, your glorious narrator, who's always ahead of the curve, had explained that Amber Heard was a very performing narcissist and explained in detail why that was. Thereafter, I was able to expand upon her behaviours as a consequence of what was disclosed and seen at the trial, whilst also enabling people to understand why she behaved as she did, including brilliantly and picking my dog stood on a bee to explain what that actually meant. I also analysed Mr Depp, providing you with an in-depth understanding of what he is. All you need to do is go to the playlist to understand more and watch the detailed reveal in the live stream that I did as to Johnny Depp's status. All of this will help you understand so much more about narcissism. However, there are those that form the view that we might be in for a situation which is Johnny Depp and Amber Heard 2.0. According to the Scottish OK Daily Express with Douglas Dickey, great name there, OK, it's Douglas Dickey. The title reads, Prince Harry and Harry's wife will be Johnny Depp and Amber Heard 2.0, as couple told to move back to the United Kingdom. Is this accurate? Might they be Johnny Depp and Amber Heard 2.0? Who's telling them to move back to the United Kingdom and will they do it? Prince Harry and Harry's wife will become Johnny Depp and Amber Heard 2.0. An American royal commentator has predicted as she urged the pair to head back to the United Kingdom. Well, so we know that it's this commentator who's urging them to go back to the United Kingdom, I can safely say that the amount of notice that they will take of that can be measured on the diddly squat scale. And it will come in at the square root of fuck all. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's popularity has plummeted in the States since the release of his tell-all memoir, Spare, and a Netflix show which aired last year. And LA-based Kinsey Schofield reckons they could go the same way as the doomed celebrity couple whose stormy relationship was played out in a courtroom for the world to see. Now, I'll pause there and make an observation. Heard is within the same school of narcissist as Harry's wife, i.e. mid-range, but she sits within a different sub-school. She's more aggressive. And that's why we saw more of the vitriolic behaviours, both in terms of the way that she treated Johnny Depp and also what she revealed by way of her responses, her haughty manner, etc., in court. Harry's wife, if there was to be a televised version of a divorce between her and old ginger bollocks, perhaps with allegations of abuse, then similarly, there would be the similarities in that Harry's wife would indeed play the abuse card, suggesting that she's been abused by the adult, drug-taking, red-mist, fist-wielding ginger nutcase. Unfortunately, as I've explained in parts, pass him through, she's, she's hanging him out to dry and he's giving her plenty of ammunition. The contents of Harry's memoir is playing into the playing of the abuse card by Harry's wife. She, like Heard, will play the victim, although she will do so in a less aggressive manner. There will be more of the over-the-top dramatics with her, but there will certainly be an attempt to paint his name very black indeed. She will go down more the route of tears to a greater extent than Amber Heard, and that she would also engage in repeated turning on of the waterworks, a la, nobody asked if I was okay. There will be very similar styles in the way that she'll approach things to Amber Heard because they're both mid-range narcissists, i.e. facade management, use of pity plays, uh, attempts at utilisation of charm, playing the victim, the revision of histories will be similar, claiming that they're the ones that have been abused, claiming that they need to speak out on behalf of all victims everywhere, trying to sort of make it of a higher calling. But Heard is somewhat more aggressive 
than Harry's wife is. The article continues. Heard was eventually ordered to pay her ex-husband over $10 million after she wrote an article which his lawyers said betrayed him as a domestic abuser. On the impact their declining popularity would have on their marriage, Schofield warned, the marriage is going to be Johnny Depp and Amber Heard 2.0. I do think that if Harry and Harry's wife, with the popularity the way it is today, were to approach Netflix or Spotify, there's no way they would get the kind of paychecks that they got for those projects. The return on investment is clearly not there at this point in time, and it's time for them to rebrand. I think that's a fair observation. Rebranders what, though? Can't continue to play the victim. People are thoroughly bored of that and, of course, have seen through much of it. Philanthropists, they've tried that, didn't get anywhere. What about book writing? Well, his has been far more successful than hers, but it'll encourage her, as I've mentioned in parts passing, to inflict her god-awful memoir on the world, which will basically might as well be fantasies of a mattress actress for all of the truth that will be found within it. The article continues, we previously reported that one royal insider thinks Harry's wife sees her royal husband as expendable, correct? She's a narcissist, and therefore everybody is expendable. Flunky, the long-standing royal correspondent for Private Eye magazine, said, the prince is being treated like a useful idiot, idiot by his wife's US celebrity mates. Indeed, that's right. Speaking to GB News, Schofield said it was time for the pair to head back to the United Kingdom. Lord, no. You can hear everybody in Britain saying, we don't want them. You can hear everybody in America going, yes, please, fuck off. She said, I'm going to tell you something you do not want to hear. Here in the States, the conversation is, Harry and Harry's wife need to apologise. (laughs) Ha! Well, good luck waiting for that. And they need to move back to the United Kingdom. That is literally what we're saying here in America, that they need to move back to the UK. I know that that's the last thing Brits want, so I apologise for bringing you that information. I just think that we realise that the only thing interesting about them are their relatives. They're not interesting people. Is it taking you this long to work this out? They're not exciting people. There's nothing inside of them. As I've repeatedly explained, he's thick, she's empty. They don't provide anything. And I think that what we liked about them was their relation to the British royal family. No, though nobody likes them, apart from the deluded sugars. So if they want to continue to be of value to anybody... I think they've got to be closer to the British royal family. In her interview with Patrick Christie's, Schofield said they should learn from the rest of the royal family, adding, this is the result of overexposure, and they're sharing way too much information. We did not need to know about the Elizabeth Arden cream, so I think this is just a result of oversharing. Americans are waiting for them to begin their life of service. And the problem with fame, which Harry's wife has chased all of her life, is that the bigger you get, the more the public holds you accountable. And we're seeing a lot of lies. Something that I've mentioned in immediate parts past him about the number of fact-checkers that Harry's wife finds herself facing these days. There is little doubt that should the divorce occur, and I see that the most likely of all of the outcomes, as I've set out in the past, you will get a version of Depp and Heard. Undoubtedly. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.